Welcome to the Lipis Report. Well, encrypting uh, data links has become increasingly important, not only just for government, but also for the enterprise marketplace. MaxSec encryption has become increasingly popular and important to campus network design and also connecting data centers. But previous switch performance degraded when encrypted traffic was passed through it. Here we show that the Catalyst 6500 does not suffer performance degradation while MaxSec traffic is passed through it. Hi everyone, it's Nick Lippis. I'm here at ISIM City um, as we continue to test the 6500 uh, the Catalyst 6500 from Cisco. In this test, this is like one I think one of the most interesting tests that we're doing, but we're basically gonna like make sure that when we turn encryption on, on the 6500, is that we see no performance degradation, so no hit. So to do that, we're gonna show traffic unencrypted and then encrypted. And let me give you a quick setup on how we're doing this. We have the Ixia gear here, and they're gonna be generating traffic. All traffic is tagged with my name, right, Nick Lip is confidential. So every pack is gonna be tagged with that. It feeds into like the 6500 Catalyst. There's another Catalyst 6500 right here. They're connected together with 10 gigabit ethernet links. And we're gonna be able to now tap off one of the Catalyst 6500s and feed it into a product from a company called CPacket. I just happen to have the CEO of CPacket with me. His name is Ronnie K. Ronnie, why don't you come on over and uh, Tell us a little bit about how you're going to be able to inspect all this traffic and show us, you know, whether it's encrypted or not encrypted. What we have here is the CTAP. It's one of our most simple products. It includes our algorithmic fabric in silicon, which enables us to inspect every bit in every packet and every flow at full line rate under any traffic conditions. The device is connected to a simple uh, GUI, which will allow us to uh, show the example that Nick was referring to. We'll show first how we look into all the packets, some header fill of the packet with another filter, and a third filter with Nick Clip is confidential in the payload. We are going to count and potentially capture each and every packet with this marker inside. We'll show the payload with the marker inside, then Sean will enable the encryption, and then the Nick Clip is in the payload is going to disappear and replaced by some undistinguishable Great. So can we show everyone um, how the packets look right now so you can identify sure. uh, packets being uh, tagged? Sure. So what the, we have here, I'll swap from the overview page to the filtering page. In the filtering page, we have defined three types of filters for all the traffic, only based on one of the header fields, as well as according to the payload. Here you see the six filters for both directions. So for example, the filter that inspects for Nick Clip is confidential in the payload at an unknown offset is here. So we're looking for, and we're going to search and inspect every packet for this tag. This exactly. Is confidential. Exactly. Yeah. And then what we can do just to confirm that these are the packets, we're going to snap few examples which are matching these filters. So what I'm doing now, I'm asking the CTAP to give me few examples of the matching packets. And when it will end up, what I'll do, I'll move to the snapshot page and we'll just look in a protocol analyzer in those packets and we'll click on this uh, file and let's see what we find out and we see that here in the payload of the packet you simply see Nick confidential here you see the X representation here you see the ASCII representation so the point is over this link we have a, a high you know we have whatever we have 8.8 .8 gigabit per second out of this 8.8 .8 gigabit per second 100% of the packets are matching Nick Lipis confidential in the payload. Okay, great, excellent, excellent running. So uh, I want to bring Sean Wago uh, in uh, for a second. So Sean, say hi to everyone. Hi Nick, hi everyone. <laughs> All right, so um, now what are we going to do? So right now we know we have unencrypted traffic going between the two 6500s. Right, so this is as is, is any network would be today. And um, the, what the difference we want to show you is specifically the 802.1 AE max stack encryption capability that the Catalyst 6500 now introduces. And um, it is a standards-based encryption model, uh, so anyone that can speak 802.1 AE can actually communicate with me. Uh, we must share the unique encryption key. Um, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and actually configure uh, MaxSec on this link, which will then encrypt every single packet as it's on leaving the port ASIC 
and uh, we'll show you that we've actually protected your confidential data. Okay, great, excellent. And there's actually one other key point to that, is that we're also running RSC 2544 uh, for unencrypted traffic, so we're gonna know what the latency and the throughput is, and then also when we're encrypting it, we're also gonna take a look at 2544 as well and compare the difference. So we get encryption without the penalty of performance hit. So great, let's go turn it on and come back and show you what the results are. Great, well, and, and we're back. So um, so now we turned on MaxSec. So, um, Sean, what did you do? Right, so the nice thing about MaxSec, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is it's actually built directly into the hardware. Um, so you don't need an external device to do that. Um, and for that matter, it's also a very simple config. It's actually just two lines of config. Um, you do have to bring down the interface in order to do it. Um, but with those two lines of config, which I was just gone for a minute, uh, I put those on, I bought the link back up, began sending traffic in, and then we're going to have Ronnie show us uh, what we got. Great. Excellent. Ronnie, so what do we got? Sure. So what we see here, that when uh, Sean did his magic, the Niklipis matches on the payload disappeared. We now have, before we had 100% of the traffic, now we have 0% of the traffic. Because it is MaxSec, also the IP, the layer 3 header fields are being encrypted, so there, is no, there are no matches on the clear text of the IP address. When we go now to the filters page and we'll snap and get an example of what kind of packets are going through the wire before they had this necklace is confidential, all of them. Let's see what we see now. So we are going to snap uh, the traffic. We're going to snap. So snap is basically taking a few snaps up, you know? Exactly. Yep. Okay, great. So it's a... So it takes an example of the packets like you uh, observed. We'll click on this example of the packets. And it comes here to my web interface simply and easily. I click on the protocol analyzer. And if I look here, you see that the, the layer 3 a header is encrypted and also on the payload which before had Nick clip is confidential all over it it's all garbled obfuscated due to the encryption so all of my confidential information is now totally encrypted if i was running a company all of my company's information is totally encrypted and sean you have an observation well and, and i just wanted to point out not only is the data itself encrypted but also the devices themselves. So if you look again at uh, the source and destination information, which traditionally would just be your MAC address and your IP information, all of that portion is also encrypted. Great. So, so they can't even see the data, they don't even know where it came from. Right. Great. Excellent. They don't even know which protocol stack is embedded in the exactly. internet. Great. Thank you. That concludes this edition of the Lipis Report. Thank you for joining us. Look for us every Tuesday and Thursday. To get your free subscription to the Lipis Report newsletter, go to www.lipisreport.com. To sponsor the Lipis Report podcast, send email to sales at We've got to go, and so do you. See you next time.